Alright boys, welcome back to the channel. This will be a quick guide on the new Event Tower of Trials. It's a very easy one this time. So uh, I have multiple teams that can clear it, but I think pretty much any team can clear this. If you got high enough CC and worked on units of course. The first team I'll be using is the Demon team. You can put everyone on attack crit if you want. Just put uh, Chandler on HP defense. My Chandler has HP lifesteal. It is my PvP gear set. You can clear the whole Tower of Trials with this team. But in my opinion, other teams can do it faster. Of course, the best team is uh, the one with the collab characters, Rudius and Eris and Kizuna, of course that team is, yeah, the damage output is just too crazy. And another team that is very good is the Goddess team with Mael. His damage is crazy and the tankiness of that team is incredible. So the survivability of the Goddess team will be even greater than the Collab team. But you can also make a team with um, the new Bon. And a full 7 deadly sins team, something like that. You can run multiple teams, it's a very easy event tower of trials. And some pretty good rewards, so... This is the collab team with Rudius. Of course Rudius HP crit, Kizuna HP defense, Ares attack crit and Bon HP defense. Regular CC card sets. And as you can see, the missions at the bottom are explained. This one is disabled. Recovery skills. You can't heal with recovery skills. But it isn't important. It's just the beginning, so you kill in like two turns max. I'm doing the video twice the speed to not make the video like 40 minutes long. And also, there's nothing special you have to keep in mind. It's so easy with all these strong characters Grand Cross has at the moment. You can also just use the new Bond, but he doesn't have AoE skills, so it probably is less quick. But I will make a team with Bond afterwards. But as you can see also tickets and a lot of good rewards. I don't really have to explain anything actually. You can see here what I'm doing. Very easy. Just trying to use two AOE skills to kill. Then the final kill we do at the last turn. Very easy Tower of Trials. But I understand why they are doing this. So beginning players and 3D players can also do this and finish it completely. Pretty good that they did this. And there is enough PvE content in the game that is extremely difficult. So it's good in my opinion that they do make this a bit easier. I don't think I remember somebody making a video about it, but I understand why. It's not really needed. Which yeah, maybe some of you might want to see the teams uh, you can use. You can pretty much use any team you want, actually.
Next team I'm using will be the unknown team with Fest Merlin, HP defense, Ram HP defense, Echidna attack crit and Anashi HP defense. Of course with the regular card set. As you can see here on this one it says deals 150% additional damage when the hero attacks an enemy with lower attack and their attack is not the highest anyway so but you can kill in one turn so very easy stage we do turn pretty much anything Here on this stage, this is the floor I was talking about, an unknown effect is there and the special effect is actually alt seal, you can't get the ults, but that doesn't matter. You just AOE with all of them and you just kill. This stage also has a reflex because it's Jude and he has a reflex on his passive, but the reflex isn't even strong so it doesn't matter. Very easy. On floor 11, the ally attribute receives additional damage equal to 10% of max HP at the end of every turn. Five hundred K HP and forty four K attack. Actually crazy, this unknown team is pretty strong. But I do have to work on them. They're not maxed out. Then of course I made a team with the new Bon, also King with his Holy Relic and Ultimate Escanor and Dead Pierce in the back to do more damage. Regular CC card set of course. Everyone is on attack crit except Dead Pierce. And this Bon unit, yeah, I just love this one. It's my favorite unit in the game. Of course you can't use him in a lot of PvE content, only the ones where you can debuff the enemy. But still, I love this unit. You can make such nice teams with uh, his passive buff that will come out next week. In the future, probably, you could make also a team with uh, Diane and King's uh, kid. It will probably be a fairy and giant or something like that. I hope, like Tristan, they made unknown. I hope they made make them in the future. Uh, double races 
So like demon and goddess race for Tristan. Maybe if he gets a festival unit, they will make it that and maybe a light and dark unit even. That would be so crazy and very hyped. Because in my opinion, the new Tristan that will come out next week. Okay, yeah, maybe a good goddess support for in the back if you don't have him on the field. Because if he's on the field, uh, my El Pasip won't work. But in the back, yeah, it will boost 45% of their defense. But is it better than Anash's Holy Relic? I don't know. You get defense and you also get the uh, alt gauge removal from the Holy Relic from Nanashi. So in my opinion, that's even better than the Distristan. So I didn't see many YouTubers talking about this, but the Tristan banner is on double rate up. It's on 0.5% and normally the banners are on 0.25% rate up for the chapter. But Tristan is on double the rate up, so you might pull him pretty quick, maybe multiple times in one rotation. So that is a good thing, maybe you just want to get one copy of him and then just leave it by that. Because in my opinion he's not the greatest. The real gem of the next week will be the free Arthur. That guy is just gonna be so crazy, I will make a lot of videos I think about him with the new Bon and s several teams. Also with, of course, Rudius because the Bond passive will change and he will be runnable with humans. And of course this new free archer is also a human buffer. So in my opinion this archer is gonna be crazy good. Also his taunt card is pretty, pretty special. A lot of healing. So just give him red tarmel link and he will be unkillable. Because once you taunt, with him and you assume the stance he will get debuff immunity even on rank one so you can't tell me that's not crazy and also the other thing he's runnable everywhere in the game everywhere doesn't matter where in the back in the front uh, pve pvp everywhere so in my opinion the best free chapter ever kizuna was the best before that but kizuna is only runnable in pve but he will be runnable everywhere, in the front, in the back, everywhere. Crazy. So this is the next team, also with Bond, but instead of King, using Roxy for a passive. So much fun with this team. The extra damage on the single targets who crit is just so much fun. You can one-shot any unit. So this team is quite fun for this uh, Event Hour of Trials. And then the next team I'll be showing will be the Goddess team and of course the Goddess team is just the tankiest and very strong. So if you just want to clear it with Goddess team you can also do that. So like I was saying also about Tristan, I might get one copy because he is somewhat of a good Goddess backline unit. So I'm gonna try him out anyway. I hope I don't have to summon 600 gems to get him. But probably not because the raid up is double. So that's good. Okay, floor 21, we're almost there. The next team I'll be using will be the goddess team. Which I, you all know it. Didn't have to explain anything. I think I won and two turn every stage. So max two turns with all these teams. As you can see with the Roxy passive we one shot everyone. So crazy. And I don't know why but uh, on this event hour of trials. Even without the debuff he always crits. As you can see here, it always crits. But the damage is way less without debuffs, of course. This is the Goddess team, of course, with the Goddess team card set. Mael on attack crits and everyone else on HP defense. But you can put them on attack crit if you want to do more damage. 
it doesn't matter. The main damage dealer is Mael anyway. So these will be the last stages and I didn't struggle at all. Even when they attack me, they don't do any damage, so... Very easy in my opinion. The only thing is that they fully heal all the time if you don't kill them. So try to kill them with one attack. If your team is, isn't as strong as mine, I think you might want to use the Margaret buff, of course, uh, at the end to kill. And a uh, rank 2 or even rank 3 single target or maybe the ultimate from my L. Just to be sure you can kill in one turn. But I don't know how the damage is if your units are lower or level 90 or something. I don't know. I can just see my damage here. Even a rank 1 A weak art from my L just one shot it, so pretty crazy. This floor is with uh, Goddess Elizabeth, so of course they have a revive, like her passive. So every time you attack and you don't kill, she will heal. And she also has an extra revive when you kill her. So one of the side units will get a revive and she will fully heal once she's dead, like you saw here. That's why I use the AoE first and then the ultimate to kill. Two more to go, so 24. It's Red Sario. And this one you can even one turn it, so just use the buff card, mile AOE and a single target and it's done. The damage of this team is just too crazy. So yeah. And then the final one with uh, Ludosiel, I think. Yeah, it's Ludosiel. Uh, I even think I'll want to turn this one. It's crazy how strong Mael is. You just have to work him up because he's needed for a lot of PvE content. So the Goddess team, in my opinion, is really a team everyone should be working on. So yeah, one turn, the final stage. I don't think anything is that easy in this game. Yeah, maybe the event bosses. But yeah, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. See you next time. Peace out.